Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today we are in Tartosa with this lovely family and they are a new family with an infant. So I thought we would start with a starter home today for our first build of the new year. Plus their funds uh, were 24,000 simoleons. So it's 2024. I just thought it was very fitting. And first I started off by mapping out how many tiles uh, we wanted to have because I was uh, building with the tiny home residential lot and I <laughs> always have trouble with those so I wanted to make sure I had uh, all the tile count figured out and then I could figure out the layout of the actual home and this does change obviously I get rid of like that side porch thing it's just like there's a little front deck and a little back deck and it's just nice and simple because I wasn't working with a big budget or a lot of tiles and uh, yeah we had to prioritize but I start with this bed from horse ranch and then I just pulled out like the little pack and play thing for the infant because he doesn't actually need a crib they can sleep in that just fine and it's also portable so you can like bring it wherever you need to or move it really easily and then we work on the kitchen again I'm using horse ranch for the countertops and then base game uh, fridge and stove so not like the lowest tier that comes with um, city living but just the regular basic ones and then this door from horse ranch because it's pretty cheap and it matches what I wanted to go for and then I had to add ceilings to everything because I couldn't just um, add platform or add a tile to the top or it would count into our tile count so that happened, but it's okay. We are working on the front now, and I picked out the door from Cottage Living, and then here is the end of my struggle with the roof. It took me an absurd amount of time, so I cut a whole bunch of that out, but it's just a very cute little like gabled roof situation with a little side slanted roof, and then I was trying to pick the siding for the outside. I used this beigey, pinkish, peachy toned one that came with the for rent pack, and then I added some columns as well from Cottage Living, and here I'm just adding the uh, foundation trim which is base game and also some base game stairs and you'll notice it's all very very white as far as like the windows and the door and the columns and everything I do end up changing that to a darker wood tone later on but for right now it's just white because I was trying to just get a basic idea of what I was going for and also I added some of these um, like the flowering trellis fence pieces to the decks uh, for like a little added privacy. They came with the My Wedding Stories pack as well. So I thought it was good to add them in here. And then I'm reworking the floor plan <laughs> a whole bunch. So we have the bedroom is going to be over here. I do expand it a little bit. And then that space off to the side is going to be the bathroom. And I do pull that out a little bit more. Uh, I had just shrunk it, but I do end up pulling it out more because I needed a little bit more space. I wanted to make sure I had a nice shower tub combo for bathing the uh, infant and then also so that the parents have a quick way to get a shower in. So didn't just want to have a tub or just have a shower. I wanted to make sure I had both. And then I, this is just basic stuff, but I'm just pulling out the toilet paper and a mirror. I'm making sure I can afford everything because... The budget builds for me are very, very difficult, <laughs> and I I always find myself at the end going, oh no, I didn't add this, and now I can't afford it, and what am I going to do? So I was trying to do better this time, and I used these windows from the For Rent Pack too. I could have used the ones from My Wedding Stories, and I think I end up using one in the kitchen maybe? No, I think I end up getting rid of that. I did like the windows from My Wedding Stories, but I really like these ones from For Rent, and I also pulled out the radiators and put them like under each window in each little room because they are going to have a thermostat and I thought that that was just a nice touch. And then we have a little TV. That one's from Get to Work and it's kind of like on a little arm, like you can move it. Um, I guess that's the theory anyway. You can't actually move it, but it looks like you can. So I thought that it was good for this tiny little living room. And then I pulled out the infant play mat and a little... Um, trash can for diapers and some wipes and stuff and here's that thermostat going in I also pulled out the smoke detector because that is very important and then I've used this flooring from cats and dogs which I don't normally use and I really like the muted brown tone in it so I thought that went really nicely with our home here and it took me a second but I figured out the tile for the bathroom just would be simple base game tile and then the I think I used the above deck um wallpaper for the living room and I think also for their bedroom no I changed the wallpaper in their bedroom I use this one the above deck in just the beige and 
brown wainscoting on the bottom. That window right there you see is from my wedding stories, but I do end up changing it. I'm pretty sure, unless I didn't, I may not have. So if not, that window is from my wedding stories. I had started this, I think on the 2nd of January. And um, well, I had first started a different build. So, and I changed my mind on it because it was going to be a resort and it was just a huge undertaking. I just didn't have it in me to finish, but I think I might go back to that later. So if you see a, a resort uh, build coming up soon, you'll know that's the one I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I just didn't have it in me to complete that one. And I thought that a starter home would be a better way to start the new year. But over here, we're working on the entryway now. I have the table from Jungle Adventure. And then I also pulled out like a centerpiece from my wedding stories, the two candles and the little flower. I thought that was cute. And then here I am reworking the living room. I do end up moving out that wall, that far wall in the living room one tile which also makes the bathroom bigger so we do get a little bit more room in here and that poof is from tiny living by the way and i put like the little diaper stuff on top of it because if you have a baby in real life you know <laughs> most of the time you're changing diapers on the floor and it's nice to just have everything easy access to quickly get that done <laughs> so i thought that was a little bit of realism um <laughs> and i had to throw that in there here's a little um empty frame set on the wall there for family photos and then I use these curtains from University and I very much enjoy them I did size them down a little bit and then raise them up with tool mod because again if you have a baby you don't want curtains that hang down really really low because they're just going to grab on them because uh, they are floor dwellers and you don't want that and then I add uh, some wall lights just this simple one just simple uh, base game wall light and a little flower arrangement to the center of the very tiny dining space and then I add this uh, frame here which is actually from fitness stuff pack and it has like a little picture of granite falls in the frame um, so maybe that's like where they went on their honeymoon or something and they just have it framed and then I add a little overhead light um, from cottage living above the dining table and then this size down um, basic light that I like to use in all my bathrooms actually I use that one in the kitchen and over here I pulled out some debug stuff so we have a marriage certificate and a little frame baby handprint and also a birth certificate and I kind of put them in a little collage over here like this is their whole little family wall right here all of their accomplishments so far all of their milestones <laughs> and then I pull out this rug which is actually one you can craft with eco lifestyle and I size it down a little bit with tool mod and then I just kind of scooch it in with all placement because I really like the shape of it and it wasn't so boxy and would kind of go with the flow of the room and I really like that. Also a wreath from Laundry Day and then I add a little table under the TV too. That one's from Parenthood and I just like the way that the wood tones match and I also add some books to that because they don't have a bookshelf and figured they would definitely need a bookshelf because they have a baby and they're going to want to read stories to them and that I think is pretty much it for the living room except the overhead light right there and I believe then we work on the parents room so at first this starts with a completely different color scheme um, <clears throat> I was trying to match the bed here so we have the yellow bed with the blue pillow so I added like blue wallpaper and also this rug from horse ranch that kind of matches the dresser is from Cottage Living. And then I think I pick out the end tables also from Horse Ranch because I like the way they match. I did have to scooch the door over ever so slightly so that it wasn't clipping with the end tables and everybody could get into the bed okay. And then I think I pull out the lamps from Horse Ranch as well. And maybe even a piece of art from Horse Ranch, if I'm remembering correctly. That might come later. No, it comes about now. Um, and then when I was looking through the swatches on the paintings, I realized that I wanted to change uh, the swatches of the whole bedroom. So instead, I decided on like this flowery green and pink tone, and I changed the swatch of the rug and the lamps and also the end tables and the painting. And then I changed the wall color itself to be more of like a a pinkish tone. I don't remember which one I used. It's more like this mauve pink, but I really like that. And also some base game curtains. I moved that radiator over so it doesn't clip with the curtains. And then here's just some plants, just a little flower on top of the dresser and a little arrangement next to the door. And then here's the back deck and the front deck. I was figuring out what kind of floor tile I wanted to use and also the wall light. So I picked out this one from Cottage Living. That's like my go-to. It's just very realistic. 
And in the front here, we have a nice little backyard stuff um, bench and some vining flowers that are climbing up the wall there. I do move the light over and I also add an eco lifestyle vertical planter because I thought maybe they would like to plant some fruits or herbs or something in there. I thought it would look really nice. And then I replaced the mailbox and there is the trash can from high school years. And here I am just changing like the roof texture and shape a little bit more because I didn't like that little piece kind of being lower than it needed to be and also one more little window up there in the crook of the roof and then I change the wood tones of everything like I said I was going to so I did make everything a darker wood tone uh, all throughout including the foundation I do end up changing the foundation and the stairs and uh, yeah I think that this looks a little bit better it just kind of pops a little bit more I didn't like all the white it was just too much, so I figured break it up a little bit. I kept the um, the flower arch or the flower fences um, the same tone just because I like the flowers on that more. And then we are just cluttering up the kitchen ever so slightly. We have a dish rack, and I think I also just add some soap to the sink area. And I'm pretty much... I think that's pretty much it. I didn't want to take up too much countertop space that would take away from your Sims being able to cook anything. And then we have just some decoration on the front porch there. And I'm adding one more window to the bathroom here. This is after I'd expanded it. You can tell it's a little bit wider. And I do replace the toilet and the sink and also the mirror, but I'm just moving stuff around to see how it's going to be. I also pulled out these like little assortment of baby towels <laughs> uh, from, I think that's from base game now unless they had it in growing together. I'm not 100% sure because they did like the update and then the release of that pack so soon. Sometimes I forget if it came with the update or if it came with the pack and I didn't catch it that time. <laughs> and then here is a dream home decorator counter with just a base game sink in there. And here I think is where I'm replacing uh, the toilet. Well, first I pick a shelf for right over here on the wall. It's just a little baby shelf. I think I end up putting some baby care items on top of that and then you'll just see I replaced the toilet with the the one I prefer because it looks more realistic it is a little bit more expensive but that's why I was like waiting till the end to make sure I could afford it and I figured we were safe there I also added some toothbrushes and a cup uh, in the little nook on the mirror now there is no slot for that I had to just raise it up ever so slightly and then use tool mod to raise everything to the correct height so that it wasn't floating <laughs> but yeah and also like a semi used tube of toothpaste like half hanging off I thought that that was I don't know again I just thought it made sense just looked really realistic to me and I enjoyed that and then here we are adding our soap dispenser on there and also some lotions to the back of the toilet I also use this lovely nightlight that also came with bathroom clutter stuff or bathroom clutter kit and then the candle on the back because I always use that. I I don't like leaving a slot on the toilet uh, empty because I don't want them to put their plates there. <laughs> But there's I'm just moving the light around adding the plunger because we need that as well And then I think I add yes I add like a little electric razor for dad on the back of the sink because again It makes sense to me and just one more light in the bathroom I think I add some robes over here, which I thought was cute So there's a mom's robe dad's robe and the little baby's robe I just size it down one and I think it's so cute little robe family. I don't know why that just it made me squeal a little bit. I was <laughs> very excited about that. And then one more little bath mat right here in front of the sink. And then I changed the swatch of the other bath mat. Now here we are rearranging the living room. Since it was wider, I had a little bit more space. So I just moved everything around. And I also added a lovely toy box. I did it in this um, school bus swatch. I thought that looked really, really nice. And then I changed, again, <laughs> the tile on the front and back porch because I wanted it to be a little bit more tan and not so bright white and uh, yeah I had to move the windows around in the front too because they were off center now and also that light now here I had trouble my sim couldn't get to the fridge with that mail thing in the way so I didn't move it over and then working on the back deck I add these chairs from laundry day stuff because they're kind of wicker and they just look really cool and more flower vines and then here the rest of this is all landscaping I just kind of pulled out things that looked like the surrounding landscaping uh, that we have already and uh, just kind of situated it around and also you'll see 
with like the trio of little lavender plants over here I'm going to end up getting rid of those and then replacing them with the debug version I didn't realize those are the ones that cost money and we needed to save as much as we could here so I didn't want to use the ones that cost money I used all debug landscaping and just moving the mailbox and the trash can around adding some more big lavender plants and little lavender plants so for the rest of this it's all just landscaping and then terrain paint. So I really hope you, you guys had a great new year and I would love to hear in the comments what you guys did or what you accomplished, what you're most proud of this year, or if you have a YouTube channel or any uh, builds that you did that you're really, really proud of. I'd love to check them out. If you leave your gallery ID, I'll definitely check them out and leave a comment and all that good stuff. And then if you guys have not already, please make sure to like and subscribe here to this channel because I so appreciate the support. I think right about now we have 103 followers or 103 subscribers on my channel and I'm just so excited and very, very proud of, of myself and all of us for how far we've come this year. So I hope everyone has had a wonderful year and they are ready to tackle all of the new challenges that the new year should bring. Um, and that if there's anything that you're worried about, I hope that you can just have a nice clear head and get a good plan together to just accomplish all of your goals and just, you know, steady as she goes <laughs> and we're all just human so just do your best and that's all we can hope for and then here the last little bit of landscaping I'm going to do is well first of all we needed a grill and also a little outdoor dining section because they live in such a beautiful world it would be a shame to not have a spot outside for them to enjoy their food so I just pick out the base game um, table and these chairs which are also base game and then I think I just put like a citronella candle from backyard stuff on the table and I also pulled out these like curved rock pieces from horse ranch and I thought that they kind of framed this little area in really well uh, where the terrain paint was I just moved the table over slightly so it was more askew more aesthetically pleasing and then I moved this tree over here to be closer to the house now see on this lot there's plenty of room for expansion so if you play here and you want to expand on the house as the family grows and actually put a kids room here you have plenty of space so I had a lot of fun with this one I think it came out really cute I was quite satisfied with the fact that our, we stayed within budget but it still looked really just pleasing to the eye and it had everything that we needed and a little bit of skill building and I just really enjoyed it a lot and here's the family they are enjoying some family time in the living room mom was watching tv when I started this but uh she quickly gave up and went to go put her plate away but I think that it just uh, it's just so fun and then we're giving the little one a bath I love the bath interaction so I just wanted to catch it on video but I really like how their bathroom is just nice and simple and clean big enough for everybody to move around in comfortably and get their routine done for the day and then dad is out here planting in the vertical planter just some herbs and I think some grapes I believe if that I don't even remember but either way he's starting some gardening and then here we are grilling outside and enjoying the nice weather mom had some kind of like iced coffee kind of thing that she pulled out of the fridge which I think is from the new pack and I really really enjoyed that and now she's enjoying some grilled fruit and it was a warm day today uh, when I was recording this so I think that they very much enjoyed spending some time outside. Dad was giving the baby a nap, just standing there rocking back and forth. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure to like and also subscribe. And then please leave any comments for anything that you might want to see in the future. Do you want to see me finish the resort that I started? <laughs> if you do, please give me some encouragement because it's going to be huge. And I was feeling a little overwhelmed by the whole thing. But I really, really am happy for everything we've accomplished this year. And to everybody, I'm proud of you, and I hope you're proud of you too. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.